Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. So I was driving home from work today and I was listening to WFAN. I was listening to the Mike Francesi show and I was uh, listening to Mets fans calling in and complaining about uh, the Mets uh, sort of team as a whole and, and some of the holes that they have in their lineup, so on and so forth. And uh, I was listening to Mike Francesa and he made a good point. And, and you know, I normally... Uh, I don't agree with Francesa all the time with some of the things he says, but he did make a good point. I wanted to share that with you guys. And that point is, uh, if you look around the Mets roster, the Mets have a lot of stars on their team. They've got a lot of players who are uh, potential all-stars every single year. And what I mean by that is you got the Jose Reyes, you got uh, David Wright, Jason Bay, uh, Carlos Beltran, uh, Johan Santana, and K-Rod. You know, those are six guys who could be all-stars every single year. And Francesca's point was that, you know, most teams are lucky to have two or three guys that can be all-stars every single year. And he went on to point out that, you know, the problem isn't with those that core group of guys, that, that star lineup, if you will. The problem is, is where the Mets roster drops off from that. And he raised a good point. And his point is, you know, you go from those guys that I just named to your next tier of players, which is like Luis Castillo and Daniel Murphy and Jeff Francoeur. And that's a huge drop off. And when I was thinking about that, I was thinking, okay, well, let me let me compare this to the team that the Mets are chasing. And that's the Phillies, the team that's been uh, to the World Series the last two years from the National League. And he's right. You know, if you look at the Phillies, they're stars. They're guys who are, you know, you can pencil in as all stars every year are Ryan Howard, Chase Utley, Abanez and Cole Hamels and then their next tier of players are guys like Jimmy Rollins, Shane Victorino and Jason Worth. That's a much better second level tier of players than the Mets have and what that does is that makes for a better all around team in my opinion and you know th thinking back to Omar Minaya's tenure here as the Mets general manager you know his main problem has always been getting that next level of player you know he's all he's gone out and he's made his mark in getting guys like uh, Pedro Martinez and, and Carlos Delgado and Carlos Beltran and, and Johan Santana to come to the Mets. He's always uh, done a good job of, of getting that star player, but where he's sort of kind of lacked and where Mets management has lacked is that next tier of player or that role player thereafter to, to kind of support the star players and make for a better all-around team. So very interesting point that uh, Francesa had today, and I agree with him on this point. And just want to hear your guys' thoughts on the Mets roster as it shapes up going into the 2010 season and what you guys think about sort of that next tier of player or, or, or the Mets bench players as well too and sort of how they're supporting our overall uh, all-star cast, if you will. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you soon.